and videos of damage Hurricane Michael caused to homes and businesses and other infrastructure here in the Panhandle. But now we're taking a look at the devastation caused to the agriculture industry. And News 13's Ashton Williams tells us it will take some farmers in the Panhandle years to recover from Hurricane Michael. In the midst of fall harvest season in the Panhandle, Hurricane Michael swept through, destroying nearly 40% of the peanuts and 90% of the cotton crop, leaving many farming families devastated. This year, people were really, really banking on this. This was the best cotton crop that this part of our country, Northwest Florida, South Alabama, Southwest Georgia has seen in many, many, many years. But thanks to the 150 mile per hour winds, many of those bowls were blown away and what's left on the stock is stained. You can honestly say that you would rather your house get blown away than to see your cotton crop like this. A loss like this doesn't just affect the farmer. The effects are seen by both the producer and the consumer. Just like a t-shirt, $20 that you pay for a t-shirt. When that t-shirt goes to $50 or $60, how many people do you think are going to buy a $50 or $60 shirt? Not very many. Um, that affects all, all kind of, right down to retail. In the Panhandle, there are a variety of farmers. Cotton and peanuts, cattle, citrus, vegetable, and timber farmers all seeing a loss of product this season. Dillard says it's different from losing a home. You can't put a price on a crop. Our insurance agents are working day and night to try to help us with this, to try to help get any kind of assistance that we can with some of this, but you won't collect nearly that. Governor Rick Scott said in a news conference earlier this week that the state is looking at several options to help these farmers the best they can. Reporting in Jackson County, Ashton Williams, News 13.